This strategy will take my Instagram to over 100,000 followers this year, whilst fueling my business to ideally multiple six figures in the process. And I'm gonna give it away to you entirely free today, run you through it all, and hopefully it helps. So let's get into it. Now, I'm gonna break this down into three core pillars. Firstly, we're gonna have the optimization and the planning of your account. Then we're gonna dive into the content strategy behind it. And then third, we're gonna take a look at how you can growth hack your way to speed up your results and fast track your progress. And these are all things that I'm using to grow my brand. So hopefully they're useful to you as well. All of these are equally important and each aspect relies on the other two to succeed. So make sure you don't skip over anything Take some notes if you need to, and I'll try and leave as many resources and links in the description as possible to help make your life easier. So first things first, it's boring but necessary to figure out one big question. Who am I trying to reach and how do I help them with my content? Now, without understanding this, I'd be completely lost when it comes to coming up with content ideas, how I speak, how I position myself, what I post, where I look for inspiration, how I grow my audience, all of these different things would become nearly impossible Possible to think of. You need this target as it allows you to align everything towards achieving that mission. It makes everything else 10 times easier. So for me, this is simple. I'm targeting business owners and helping them grow their audience and revenue using social media content. And this varies from service providers to consultants to theme page owners, sometimes even the occasional athlete. So this target audience does allow for a bit of leeway in the content, but it is important to have at least a rough idea of who you're trying to reach. With this in mind, it then allows me to to optimize my profile in a way that will speak to these people. It determines the keywords that I put on my name, which in my situation is content marketing, as well as of course, my actual name, Josh Ryan. It allows me to determine my bio, which opens up with, I help businesses grow and monetize on social media, as well as things like my story highlights, which consists of social proof, showing people that we can get these results, but also an introduction of who I am, why they should follow and how can I help them. And all of this becomes so much easier because I know who I'm speaking to I know what's going to relate to them. I know what they want to hear and want to see. And then I can go ahead and create it that way. Now, alongside this video, I'm also going to put together a Notion template, which you can fill all of this stuff in yourself. So you can make it easy for you about your target audience, who you're trying to reach, how you're helping them, help you come up with your content ideas. So if you want to get access to that, all you have to do is subscribe to the free email newsletter. I'll leave a link for that down below. Now, once you've got your profile sorted, set up, looks great, we can move on to the second pillar of this strategy, which is my content strategy, which is a huge foundation for anyone's growth on social media in general. It doesn't matter what platform you're using, your content is obviously a massive part of it. If you get that wrong, it's going to make everything else so much harder. The secret here that I've found both for myself and for clients is creating a system to produce useful, insightful content as often as possible and getting it out there to more people, which sounds easy on the surface, but actually requires a fair bit of planning and learning how to operate these systems to make it happen, which again is something that I've only learned recently and started getting better at. So I'm just trying to share those insights with you guys, hopefully it's useful. Now, because I also make YouTube videos as well as Instagram, then my system might be slightly different to what you use for yours, but I'm just sharing what works for me and hopefully you can take a few bits of it, mix and match it and come up with your own. Firstly, I have to come up with high quality content ideas, which for me comes from a mixture of my own experiences, reading good books and frequently asked questions, as well as occasionally looking at what other people are talking about and looking what is popular in the industry. I then brain dump all of this into my Notion template. In the past, I've also used the likes of Google Documents, but I found Notion to be a bit of a better tool. It's also free, so I'm enjoying it so far. Now, from there, once I put all of this content ideas in there, every couple of weeks, I'll sit down and turn these ideas into written scripts for content. Now, there's a big debate between if you should script your content or not, and I personally prefer it because it allows me to rewrite things and make them as concise as possible ahead of time. If you're naturally an amazing speaker and can articulate your points really well just off the cuff, then it's less important. But for the majority of us, I would say that's not the case. And so it helps to script things, at least scripting your key points, maybe not word for word. If you have to, starting out, it's probably useful. I still do that to this day. But for other people, figure out what works for you and makes you the most comfortable on camera. That is, of course, if you are filming them on camera. You might also go ahead and choose to write content, whether it be infographics, carousels, etc., which is obviously 
going to be different. Now, after scripting these videos, I'll come into the studio and film these YouTube videos that you're watching now. In the past, I used to film from home, but as I'm trying to improve the quality of the content, I found having a proper studio has helped a lot. This then gives me enough for one high quality video every single week for YouTube. And from that, I will go through and select about three to four different timestamps from each video, which can then be turned into short form video clips by my editor to be posted as reels. I'll additionally have the video transcribed and turned into a carousel style post for Instagram. And this gives me about five pieces of content per week, which are great quality, give useful advice, and most of the time are reasonably engaging if I say so myself. But as I aim to post daily, I'll also go ahead and write out two additional posts, which my designer then turns into carousels. And this is a similar format to how I come up with content ideas for YouTube. I simply look at questions people are asking a lot. I look at what's happening in the industry and I come up with content based on that. This way, by filming four YouTube videos per month, it gives me enough content for daily posts on Instagram and weekly uploads on YouTube, all of which, like I said, the goal is to provide valuable, useful information to my target audience. And then you're gonna dress it up and make sure you've got good hooks and good titles and it flows nicely, et cetera, to try and increase the retention of that content so it can perform slightly better. But the first thing first that you wanna focus on is obviously bring something useful. Now, if you need help and want my team to help do this for you, give you the ideas, help you script the content, edit it all and distribute it, then you can book a call with me and my agency. I'll leave a link for that down below and we'll see how or if we can help you do exactly that for your business to free up your time and help you generate more leads. Now, if you're starting out, you might not have the budget for all of this, but you can still take some aspects of it and apply it to your own situation, such as having a Google document where you can brain dump all your ideas. And then once a week, you script them into content and then film them or write them out or so on. So you have enough content to be publishing great stuff every single day. These systems allow you to get more content out there consistently and they are crucial. If you're relying on sheer work ethic, willpower and have no systems, you'll drive yourself crazy, burn out and probably fail to be consistent enough to build an audience. I've tried it in the past, it's not the way to go. You wanna have some sort of system to make sure that you are consistent. Now, posting daily content through a predictable system like this is how we've essentially been able to grow from averaging 500 new followers per month to averaging about 10,000 new followers per month in the space of the last year. And that compounding has all come from consistent, valuable content and just doing the basics really, really well, which brings us onto the third pillar, which is the growth hacks to try and speed up your growth. Now, once you've sorted the first two, and it's really important that you get those two done first, before looking at the hacks and the tricks and any of that. And these growth hacks comes down to how you can get your content in front of more people to help fuel your growth, which I do in a few different ways. Now, the first one of these is gonna be collaborations. So you can find other people who have a similar sized audience and a similar group of people following them you can work on a collaboration together where they promote you to their audience and you promote them to your audience. And this can be done in different ways. You can work on creating a reel together. You could work on doing an infographic together. You could even just keep it really simple and share a piece of content to your story from their account. And they do the same for you. And then both of you benefit from growing. Now, these can be really useful, especially at the start when you don't have much of an audience and you're trying to gain those true fans one by one. One thing I will say though, is try and collaborate with people of a similar size. It's all well and good to try and find someone massive in your industry to try and collaborate with that might have millions of followers. But if you're only just starting out and have a couple thousand followers, then you're not gonna be able to bring much value to them, which all of a sudden means it's not really worth it on their behalf. And you're probably not gonna get a lot of people that are interested. Instead, try find similar sized creators where you're exchanging somewhat equal levels of value and can help each other out. I'd also suggest finding complementary skill sets that you're other creators have that you're collaborating with. If I make content about how to grow with content marketing, I might find someone who has an audience about how to sell and then I would collaborate with them so I can help their audience be better with their content and then they can help my audience be better with sales and so you're helping each other out instead of just having the exact same thing that you're both teaching unless you have some sort of different aspect to it. Another growth strategy you can use is hashtags. Now, a lot of people misunderstand them or sometimes spend too much time thinking about them, but I'm just gonna make it really simple for you. Use five to 15 targeted hashtags that are relevant to your content 
not crazy big and crazy broad but also not so small that no one even looks at them you want to have that nice range of somewhere between about 5,000 posts on the hashtag up to a million a couple million but nothing too crazy and then just put those in your captions and somewhat forget about it now another growth strategy that we use that helps us speed things up is what's called the dollar 80 strategy so essentially you want to find other accounts in your niche who have the target audience that you want to gain and then you're going to go engage with these accounts every time they post and this way you're going to be getting in front of their audience which can drive people back to your profile and help you gain targeted followers. I still do this to this day. It's simply become a habit that when I see content, I give my opinion on it. That's why it's called the $1.80 strategy because essentially you give your two cents, your opinion on 90 pieces of content per day. Now you don't have to do 90, it could be five, it could be 10, it could be 15. Just make it a habit of engaging in the comment section of other people's content as a way to get yourself out there in front of more and more highly targeted people. And again, this will work on any platform, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, TikTok, anytime where you can put your opinion out there in the comment section, in front of targeted people, you'll gain quality followers. Another wee growth hack that we use is repurposing the content onto other platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, and so on, where if you're creating reels anyway, you might as well repurpose them onto YouTube and TikTok as a way to try and get in front of a few extra people to help build your audience. And then of course, studying your analytics, looking through what's working, what's getting more clicks, what people are enjoying, and then how you can double down and create more of it. Essentially in that early stage, as you're trying to grow, you wanna do anything you can to just get yourself in front of more targeted people so they can see your content, enjoy it. And if you've done the work to create good stuff, chances are they'll stick around. And even if you gain one or two or three followers a day for the first few days, and then you start growing a little bit faster, a little bit faster, you start applying other strategies, then it is going to start snowballing and you'll see some really good results. Just increase the time frame of which you expect to see results. If you're trying to see results in a week, it's obviously gonna become really tricky. If you focus on putting in the effort for three months, then all of a sudden it becomes pretty likely that you'll see good results. The goal here is not to go viral overnight, it's to slowly acquire a few hundred to a few thousand true fans. And then with those true fans, engaging with your content consistently, Instagram or any other platform can begin pushing it out to more similar people, which then converts those people into followers over time. There is little to no difference between the content, the profiles and the strategy that we followed when we were growing 500 followers per month compared to now where we're gaining nearly 10,000 per month. The key difference is simply through consistent action and brute force, we accumulated more fans one by one, which lead to more engagement, more data, which lead to better growth over time. And continuing to follow this, I should be able to gain a minimum of seven to 10,000 followers per month, ideally improving slightly month on month as we grow faster and gain more momentum, which will allow us to get the account to over 100,000 followers by the end of the year and fueling the business to grow faster. Now, if you wanna follow this journey and see what we're doing, then go follow me at Josh Ryan if you aren't already and send me a DM with any questions you might have about this content. So if you aren't seeing any results yet, it could simply be that you're following the wrong strategy, which hopefully this video has been helpful, or you haven't been following the strategy long enough to begin seeing those results so stick at it and you'll get there i'll leave links in the description to the mentioned templates tools that i'm using as well as my agency below for you to go check out uh, if you want to find any of that information hopefully it's useful and i will see you all in the next video